New York has been called the nation's most dysfunctional state government and also one of the most corrupt. What specifically would you do to restore public confidence and trust in state government? Thank you. There's an agency called the Commission on Public Integrity. Its mission is to foster public trust in government. How's that working out? It's been around for two decades or longer. It's not delivering. And what you see from career politicians is every, every election they say, oh, we're going to pass some new ethics laws, and this time they're going to have teeth. This time it's going to matter. No. That's not the answer. You, creating more bureaucracy is not the solution. There's a famous quote from Lord Acton. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Put in the context of New York state government and the federal government, the more power we concentrate in government, the more corruption we will have. Now, I'm from the Libertarian Party. I know not everybody's familiar with the Libertarian Party, but fundamentally, the Libertarian Party stands for small government. And when you have smaller government, then government has less power and you will see less corruption. Now, Mr. Cuomo talks in his, uh, in his book about transparency and campaign finance. He received a $55,000 contribution from a small Manhattan parking lot. That small Manhattan parking lot is owned by a Delaware corporation of unknown ownership. If Mr. Cuomo really believes in transparency and campaign finance and we want to fix corruption, perhaps Mr. Cuomo can tell us who's behind the parking lot. Thank you. I like what Mr. Hawkins had to say. Uh, and the special interest problems. Mr. Cuomo has taken $23 million in special interest contributions over 800 contributions of $10,000 or more. But if that's not what you want, Mr. Palladino cuts out the middleman. He's his own special interest. Somebody explain why a supposedly conservative Republican is giving money to Hillary Clinton and Chuck Schumer and John Kerry. It's because he's trying to buy something. Thank you, Mr. Redlick. Mr. Palladino. This is a rebuttal? Yes, sir. 